My name is Beatrice Alaywala and I am the president of the Afro-Caribbean Society. I'm Ashling Brosnan and I am part of the rugby club in IT Carlo. My name is Horrigo Tool and I'm involved in the men's Gaelic football club here in IT Carlo. I started playing rugby when I was nine because my brothers played and it wasn't fair if I couldn't too. So I played for the club for the past four years that I've been here. I run the Instagram page and the Twitter and social media platforms for the club. So the Afro-Caribbean Society, our main goal and purpose is to educate people on the continent of Africa and the social, economical and changes that occur each and every year or two. So we usually meet every Wednesday and we take part in debate competitions and we also do dance competitions. When we get together, we usually just have a, like, have a bit of a laugh, but it's also educational so we um, we like to encourage our members to do as much as possible and get out there and um, just to make sure that they have a, a place to express themselves. I'm part of the club now four years uh, since I joined the college. I've loved every second of it. We started in um, September. We never actually returned to collective training but we always had close contact with uh, management and the uh, players. We kind of were told to keep our fitness levels up, keep doing some, some ball work, to keep our touch in. Unfortunately, then we got the news that uh, college football couldn't be played this year, but we then reverted to kind of more online. Uh, we did some player uh, profile interviews over social media, so that was a good way to kind of keep in touch with one another. We had a few training sessions at the start, uh, but then lockdown hit, so obviously no matches for us. But we did take to the social media and really kind of optimize the platform that we'd already created. So we did some skills videos from separate, so we're all at home. But because we weren't physically together, we just wanted to do some teamwork stuff. So getting everyone involved, getting everyone putting up videos, sending them into the group chat, letting us know what was going on. I think it was around October that we had to go back into lockdown. So then we switched to teams and we met every Wednesday around like 5, 6 p.m. It was mostly like um, debates about the economical status of Africa, but we also um, brought in and tied in um, the origin of where most of our members' descendants came from. And we also tried to encourage them and let them know that um, they can't be really held down by social constructs. So that was kind of um, invigorating. My best memory has probably been getting to the Sigerson final last year with um, IT Carlo. We played uh, DCU. Unfortunately, we didn't win. It was just a great experience to get there. It was history for the college as well. So looking forward to getting back next year and hopefully we can go one step further. All the videos from our dance competition Unplugged, where our members came in first place in semi-finals. And one of our members actually had to wear a wig. It was a pink, like Lady Gaga wig. And he had to be on this like makeshift man bicycle of people. And he just <laughs> kept like cycling. And then, and then the wig got like thrown off him and everyone realized that he was actually a guy. Well, I'm a big fan of sevens rugby. So a lot of quick pace. So every time we went out, it was always sunny. A uh, great day out with the girls, just getting to run around, have fun, and just the journeys back on the bus are always great crack, so that was great every time. I'm looking forward to getting back into the routine, getting back training with the lads, and hopefully we can uh, go one step further this year and win the final out. The society as a whole, interacting with a group of people and talking to them and seeing them face to face and their expressions is way different than talking to them online, so I definitely miss that aspect of it. I'm gonna miss the girls, the camaraderie, the team effort every week in training. All the matches, college matches, they just hit different. So it was great to get out every week and play. Gives you something to look forward to every week, just getting out and hanging out with the girls that you're friends with.